and welcome back to another video on my channel if you are new welcome my name is Emily in today's video I've got the same hairstyle and I'm doing another look fantastic haul same hairstyle as the last video <laughs> I have a really big box with lots of items in I just wanted to do a YouTube haul again because obviously I do get a discount code with Look Fantastic so I thought I would do the video share my discount code and everything because I know that you all enjoyed it last time I did the video and it's just like products that I really do like or I'm testing out new things and yeah I just thought I would come on and share them I don't really know where to start I think I'm gonna do foundation so in the last video that I did the last Look Fantastic order I picked up a new NARS foundation I picked up the sheer glow Um, currently at the moment I'm having a really really bad breakout with my skin not sure why all around here is so pigment like lots of pigmentation is that what you call it it's like raised and yeah it's not for me but it's just having an angry moment so the sheer glow when my skin is like this i don't really want to wear it because it is a bit harder to cover if you will and i don't really want to layer it with lots and lots of concealer and stuff like that it's just not i'm not kind of loving that i prefer having a bit of a less foundation on my face really i do already use the nars natural radiant longwear foundation but i just picked up another one because the other one that i do have is really really dark and it just doesn't match my tan um obviously you would have seen me trying the shade barcelona in cheer glow and i really really love the shade it matches i feel like it matches my fake tan really well it's like the closest match i've ever had so i did just pick the Natural Radiant Longwear in Barcelona in this and uh, this is what I'm currently wearing today just to cover any bits and bobs that I have going on <laughs> um, and I really like that obviously I have used it for quite a while I think I got actually sent the NARS I got like a PR package from NARS it must have been coming up to two years ago now so obviously it does to be honest my foundation will be running out it says uh, 24 months so you have on makeup products or creams um, or just beauty products in general if you can see i'm not sure if it's going to focus but there's this that little pot there and it will give you it says 24 that means once you've opened it it has to be used within 24 months so that foundation will need to go in the bin soon <laughs> so yeah it's good to pick that up now then then i've seen that i don't know how you say this brand so I've seen these all over Instagram and everything, like all the girls have been using them at the moment, like the lip mask and I wanted to give them a go. So they had this little duo set and I think it was £21 on the website. Um, oh, it comes with a little spatula. Oh my God, that's so cute. Right, okay. So this has a lip sleeping mask and a lip balm. So I love a lip balm. I really need a good one. I actually wore this this morning and my lips have never felt smoother with my lip products on so I had it on this morning me and Lou snipped out to get some bits and bobs for his mum's birthday and um, so I popped this on this morning because my lips are feeling quite dry it is the lip glowy balm in berry and then we also have the lip sleep mask in chocolate so this is just a mini pot usually they do come double the size of this but it's just a little mini don't really smell much so far and it looks quite just like a lip balm to me um yeah i'm probably going to do the best test out tonight i'll take it to lewis's and then there is comes in this little packet don't know if it's going to pick up because of the camera but it's a little like spatula to apply the lip mask on your lips basically which i thought was quite cute so yeah that's just a little cute little set I thought it was quite cool and they are quite expensive though for these big tubs they're already like £23 on their own so I thought I might as well get the sets and I get a lip balm with it and see if I like them if I like them then I can make the splurge because they're just on their own they're quite expensive products even the lip balm's like 20 odd quid on its own then next I have a really exciting little um little set that I see everybody buy all the time and I've never actually picked one of these up so I do actually have the big size of this 
already. But I thought as me and Lewis are looking at doing a few tricks away this year. I thought I would pick this up because it is a cute little set. It is the Sol de Zuniro, um, is it the 62? Yeah, it is the 62. It's just a little set. So it's got the body wash, cream and a mini of the spray. As you can see, I've already got a full spray which I'm literally not running out of. This is like 22 quid in Selfridges. I've had it since probably about a year actually. I got it around my birthday because me and Lee stayed away in Manchester and I picked it up then. I haven't actually opened open this yet, but it comes in a little clear pouch, which I think is quite cute. And then this is a little spray, so it's just the same. Um, but just for size reference, this one is 30ml, this one's 90ml. So that's a little size difference. I'm excited to take this away because it's such a good body mist. I really like it. It smells really sweet and vanilla -y. It is pistachio, salty caramel flavour. To me it's just like vanilla -y and I love it. Then I also have the 71 one which is caramelised vanilla and macadamia. This is so much sweeter than this. Um, if you want this more to last longer I'd say pick the 71 but as you can see I'm nearly out of them both. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. Then, the next item, I actually accidentally picked these up by accident. I wanted one and I've accidentally picked up two. It is the salicylic acid solution from The Ordinary. Um, I am wanting to get rid of my sebaceous filaments in my nose and apparently this is good at helping that. So I'm going to use this in an evening after I've done all my skincare and everything and my cleanses. And just apply it around my nose and then put nice and mine everywhere else. Unless I do just like a full a full thing of this and then my moisturiser on top. We'll see how I get on. Um, but yeah, I certainly picked up two. Hopefully I like this product. And then I've got a spare as a backup when I do run out. Then another product from The Ordinary is a square, square lane, square lean, square lane cleanser. Um, this again is meant to be really good at getting rid of. I can't make it focus because of the ring light. This is meant to be really good at helping get rid of the spacious filaments as well. So I thought I would give it a go and it is quite a big tube. It is a 50ml tube um, so it should last quite a while. It's not a bit safe for directions. This brings products and towns rub together to warm the product allowing it to melt into an oil. Okay so it's just an oil cleanser to be honest. Okay cool. Then next we have the La Roche Posay can't even say it. It's a moisturiser for your face to be totally truthful. Um, if it'll focus that is just what it is. So again this you could have picked it up in the bigger tub but I just picked it up in the little one for now just to see if I like it because I might not like it. So it is ultra repairing soothing balm um, and I think it is a cream consistency. Yeah it is. And where's directions for use? So barrier repairing formulation. So yeah, thought I'd pick that up. I did want to give Brett an old try, but I've not picked any up just because I was really unsure of what to pick up and how to use it. I know that you can't use certain moisturisers with him, so I think I need to learn a bit more about on the use of retinol. Um do want to give it a go, but we will cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> then my nail lady is going on maternity leave in May. Uh, April sorry she's due in May so I've not been getting my toes done for a bit because she's been pregnant for a bit obviously and yeah she's not been doing toes for a bit so I haven't had my toes done since the cruise last year which is quite a long time so I've just been letting them grow out naturally to be honest and just trimming my nails down myself just kind of left them because I cannot I just can't stand feet <laughs> Um, but I have actually picked up some nail varnish. I've picked up the Essie in Wank and then a Speed Setter Top Coat just because I need to do my nails desperately. I really want my nails to be in so I can start wearing sandals soon because it is obviously going to come into spring and summer. And yeah, I, I do need to get like a little gel machine myself and she's going to get me the Builder Gel so I can just do it at home myself. But yeah, I've just picked these up because I don't really want to be putting gel on my toes if I'm going to be doing it myself. Then, this is another new product, so obviously you would have seen me pick up the Glow Hub concealer last time and I do actually have a lip balm from them and I really like it. 
and I've seen good things about this it's a facial serum it is a dark spot treatment the scar slayer sorry so I kind of need this at the moment I just picked up a mini little tub this is a 30 ml bottle or 15 ml bottle sorry um just to give it a go if I like it I can get the full size product but yeah I thought I would give it a go and see if it's any different to the nice and mind so I'm gonna try that out it does have vitamin c in it so i can't use it if i get any retinol um so it says it targets pigmentation smooth scarring tackle dark spots and even skin tone with this brightening clarifying and texture smoothing tranexamic acid and vitamin c serum cool so yeah i'm gonna give that a go see how i like it and obviously as my skin is having a nightmare at the moment it'll be the perfect time to give it a try so the last item that I did pick up is, well, I did pick up, if you spent over £75 you got a free gift, so it is just this cute little pouch with a gold zip, I love it and it says look fantastic, and inside it's a few little goodies if you will. So, first thing is cream, I don't know if it's your face, uh, in an upward sweeping motion smooth the concern over the face and neck. Apply to dry clearized skin. So it is just a mini tester of a product, I presume. Oh yeah, it is just a little mini. Um, that is the box. And then the little cream is just there. Then we have the Pericdon, Pericon MD Hyaluronic Insensitive. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Hyaluronic Intensive Hydrating Serum. This is meant to be quite an expensive brand, I think, when I've seen it. Um, yeah, I can give that a go. It doesn't really say any information on the tub. And then we have Dr. Levy Pollution Shield. Not too sure what it is. I presume just a cream again. Then we have quite a little bit of a big product here. This is the Biotherm. No idea what it is. Anti Deschant anti drying body milk, and um, so I presume it's just a body moisturizer. It would help if they did give a little card out with these just so you could see what they are because some of these products, like they're in, they're from like different countries, so yeah, France, it's in French, so you can't really read it properly to see what it is, you just have to take a guess. Um, then we have the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Normal to dry, sensitive skin hydrates as it cleanses to soothe and replenish skin's moisture. How cute is that little bottle? Oh my god. That is so cute. And then lastly, I'm really excited about this to be totally honest. It is a La Roche-Posay well, Factor 50 um, sun cream. Ultra long UVA protection. This is exactly what I need. And I'm definitely going to save this for my holiday, I think. Because it is such a little tube. I think it'll last me all holiday, to be honest. I'm sure that'll last me two weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that because I did want to buy it last year. But this is so expensive. So I'm glad to have this little tube. And even if I do buy it, um, it's all, we can open it for 12 months. So I might give it a go. See how it sits on my skin and everything. Um, and then take it away with me or buy the full product because um, it is quite an expensive full product to buy so I don't really want to be making this splurge if you don't agree with me so I'm actually really happy that that's in there and um, but yeah that's just everything that was in this little pouch it is quite a big pouch yeah a little fantastic pro skin edit and it's just got a little sticker on the bottom and then as I'm already filming this video I just wanted to go through some of my favorite perfumes so these literally like I got into perfume like last year type of thing. This is the YSL Libra Eau de Parfum. Parfum? It's that one. Um, it is the golden liquid rather than the light gold. This smells unreal. I have been obsessed with it ever since and I think I got it in like March time or something, just after my birthday. It was in like April maybe because I know I had it for a bank holiday at Easter, I'm pretty sure. Or it might have been a later bank holiday. This is unreal. I've used like half of it now and I've taken it on holidays and stuff, but 
I do just use it on the weekend or sparingly really because it is quite a small bottle they're very expensive for this bottle it was like 50 to 60 pound and it's literally 30 ml yeah it's very expensive perfume but it's so good and then the next one is again another YSL this is a black opium and it is another 30 ml bottle again another expensive one but it smells really really good this is really nice and sweet and this one this to me is a perfume that is literally like a woman's perfume that's what that is to me i absolutely adore it and then this one is just a very sweet scent it lasts really well actually and then the last one is the estee lauder bronze goddess this is the eau de parfum again so it seems like that the i like the parfum ones this is really nice and sweet it's like a summery smell very refreshing and again the bottle is really cute this is on the cheaper side so this is a 50 ml bottle and this was only like 50 quid so this is a lot more product for your money obviously these are higher end products of YSL compared to the Estee Lauder so just bear that in mind but yeah they're my top three favourite perfumes <laughs> And yeah, I just thought I would share them because obviously they will be running alongside my discount code. So if any of you do want to use it, feel free. I'll pop it on the screen. And yeah, I will link the Look Fantastic website down below. So yeah, that is everything that I do have to share in this Look Fantastic haul. I hope you all enjoyed. I did have a request to do more like beauty type videos. So maybe um, I'll get around to doing some of those soon. I might get um, a little desk for this area here so I can sit and get ready. Um, with my products out and everything and it'll be quite a good way to do product videos I guess but yeah I will leave look fantastic discount code on the screen and the link down below and if you enjoyed this video I hope you will like comment and subscribe let me know what other videos you want to see from my channel and I will see you all again in another video